G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags and I've got a new place. As a reward for kicking ass and taking names in the last fight, I've been given a little shack in the base of the Lower Rate Castle, so I now actually have my own place. So, I've got a horse and I've got a house. I'm doing reasonably well in the world, all things considered. However, we have been on that chain of missions. Quite hungry. Thank you, Henry. We have been on that chain of missions for quite some time now, and I want to catch up with some old mates. In particular, our old mate Hans. We haven't caught up with him since we dragged his sorry ass back from a hunting trip after he got the crap kicked out of him by a couple of cumans. And on top of that, I need to burn 24 hours, because tomorrow there's another tournament in Rate, and I'm not going to miss it. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoy. This is the last floor. He's got to be in here. Shitter. Um. Hey, what do you know? It's Hans. There you are. Well, if it isn't the world-renowned victor of the Ratai Tawny, Henry of Scalitz. You're goddamn right it is. And if it isn't the punts who managed to screw up a boar hunt and got the crap kicked out of himself by a couple of cumans. Long time no How see, Hans. It, sir? You recovered? I am. For all the good it does. The boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hamish won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, he talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, Bloody won't hell. you come with me to the Rate bars? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. Okay, Why so he wants to go to the baths. Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with the... Which uh... is why you can bath here anytime you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. There we go, that's the if real reason you want to go to the baths. I was in love with her. Oh, the L word. Watch out there, Hans, well, you're a nobleman. Well, I won't lie to you, it hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come I'm and join sure you there. you will. Take care. All right, so Hans is about to go get his root on. Now, we have to blow a little bit of time to dusk from the looks of it. Now, now I actually have a little bit of an idea on how to do that. If Hans here would ever hurry up and get the hell out of my way... Welcome, Henry! What the hell are you welcoming for, you idiot? We just organised to go to the baths for a route. Dumbass. Anyways, yeah, so this is what this whole episode is going to be about. We've done a whole bunch of quest chains that were all timed, they needed to be done one after the other, and I really couldn't go off and do any side quests. So, the first one we're going to do is have a chat to Hans, and then we have another Rate Tawny coming up, and I might even do another one. But first, this is how I'm going to waste a little bit of time. I got a new weapon. Yes, I have been reading the comment section, and I have been taking in all of the uh, the requests, the suggestions that I should probably get into the maces. And I probably need to get more arrows as well. But um, yeah, so the Morningstone, it looks like it's a fairly reasonable... It's not the best one I could have gotten, but it was in the right price range for what I was after. And I'm going to need to do some training on it, because as we can see, I have no skill at all in maces. So, what I'm going to do, if hands will ever get the hell out of my way, actually I should check. Um, yeah, we've probably got two hours. 
Um, I'm going to go for a quick ride up to the training ring and see whether or not we actually have a trainer up there at the moment or um, what's his face, the head of the guard is up there. So I have somebody that I can uh, have a bit of an exchange with on the mace. I, I really need to do this with a couple of weapons as well because why my sword skills are... No, not right now. Uh, my scored skills are reasonably okay. My defense skills are unparalleled. I'm 20 defense after that last battle, which is as high as you can go. So yeah. my defense skills are fantastic. I don't have any skills really in the way of the axe, and as you can see, none in the way of the bow. Uh, none in the way of the mace, rather. And my bow skills are not fantastic either, so I really need to start doing some side quests and some side jobs to, um, to get those up. I really need to get those up, especially doing the tawnies, because the tawnies force weapons changes. You use your selected weapon at the first round, and that doesn't look like anybody is here. Crap. Alright, I guess we just go down and wait then. Okay, so he is in the bathhouse. Um, down the end, looking at the mission marker. And that's not right, I've only just discovered the bathhouse. I'm sure I've used this bathhouse before, so that shouldn't have been a discovery. Right, so it looks at this shack. Um... So, how do I get inside? What's that? Is there something you Customer. Need? Not yet, love. I'll let you know soon. Ah, there we go. We've got to use Do action. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, my lord. You go back to getting your route on. I'll just uh, wait out front. Alright, your lordship. Ready or not something around here not from you in the bath and still with your clothes on that's kind of sad what do you need sir I need you to do me a favor Henry again what again <laughs> now what's your tone peasant <laughs> well, you never think it but Stenna here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite, but maybe you can do better. Right then, you've got to beat Stenna at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on show. Okay, um... All right, why the hell not? I haven't played a game of dice since the tutorial for playing dice. How have you all been getting on here? Well, Lord Capon's been chasing us around a bit and so forth. Nothing we're not used to. I'm sure. Um, How about a game of dice, then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? I'm sure you'd work something out. But let's play. <laughs> let's see how good you are. Goodbye. <laughs> I've heard all about you, but you won't get the better of me. Okay. Hmm. Two, five, six, six. All right, let's re roll. All right, five, five, four, two. We can take the fives because they're worth points on their own. And yeah, I think I'll, yeah, we'll leave with that. It gives us 200 on the points on the table.
Ooh, 500 points one. already. Mother of uh, God. Overplayed and bust. Okay, my turn. Are you afraid of Oh, the get spot? stuff. Bust on the first roll. Thirteen fifty, fourteen fifty. You haven't exactly gone off to a good start, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. Shut up, Hans. All right. Hmm. Two sixes, two twos, and two fives. And the fives are the only thing worth points. I reckon we'll keep one of the fives. And then we'll re-roll the other five. Um, well, we've got two ones. So I guess we'll keep those. It gets us up 250. Bad move! But I'm proud of you anyway. Have another wine, Hans. Should I? Shouldn't I? 700 no, already. Um, two ones, two fives, three and a six. 300 points right there. Yeah, you know what? I might actually take those. Well, well. I wasn't expecting that. Gonna need a better hand. That's it. So an eight hundred. No point in pushing 950. it. Fifty. Okay. All right. Two ones and three threes. It seems there's method in your madness. Well, that caught me back up at least. And she busts on her hand. I might have her here. I just need 350, and we've got three ones, so it's 300, and then two, two, and a six. Uh, that'll take me to 1,350 of 1,400. Still 50 points short of the victory. So, do I keep these three? Or do I keep two and re-roll four? You know what? Stuff it. We'll keep these and I'll go for 50 in. My, my. Some real competition at last. How did I win? We only no, got to 350. Of course. Or 1,350. Jesus, I can't bear to watch. Okay. That's it. I'm not sure how I won then. I know he's bust on first round. Finished. 550 on the first round. Jesus. Okay, what do we got? 300. 350. Yeah, I'll, I'll take 350. It seems there's method in your mind. 1050. Oh! Um... Yes, three of a kind is worth um, uh, worth a hundred times the score on the dice, except for the ones, which is a thousand points. So I overshot by a shitload in the last round, and one thousand fifty in the first round on this one. That's all. That's what happened. Well, three hundred fifty points, and I win then. Um. We've got a hundred. What are we going to get here? I need 250. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We only got a hundred and we got a 50. Well, well. I wasn't expecting that. So, a hundred points for, to win. That'll do me. Oh, she matched me in one hand. Um, f 
five under the dice, and we've got a one. So that should be it. That should be a win. That's the way you show her, Henry. Looks like I'm the one who will be doing the showing. I have a funny feeling the game's not going to let you do any showing. All right, well, that's victory there, so. I could do with a good soak, too. Then strip off and hop in here. The first round loss made me take off my helmet. <laughs> uh, what, what with, with you, sir? That doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I've no interest in your hairy ass. Get in the tub, or I won't talk to you. Oh, all right, then. Yeah, I knew where it wanted to That's go. I just wanted to like see it. exactly Put what his response was going to be there. Um, and that'll be the trunk, I guess. Shift over. Don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, just give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Man, don't take this personally. But I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cow pats less fragrant. <laughs> I have a funny feeling Hans isn't going to be quite as funny as the priest was. <laughs> you certainly know how to have a good time. Here, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. Uh... I don't mind if I do. Last time I Give drank it turned out okay. Let's see how this goes. And again, so this is how you recuperate from your injuries. Booze and wenches. Of course. Is there any other way? So can't argue with you, that. Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very healing. <laughs> Clara, bring some wine for the gents oh, before they get cross. Looks like I'm getting out. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Clara, my most favourite is bath maid. But bath, admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pitiful. Um... Who the fuck are you talking to, Hans? Fucking witchcraft. You knew she was coming before she was in the room. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though where? Ah! I know! In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hanush bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. Um, Sorry, but I really don't have time for this now. Can't you just make do with the bathhouse wine? Absolutely not. I will have my silver and red from that cellar, even if it takes you a week to get it. We'll find some way of entertaining ourselves in the meantime. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I'm just wondering how many ways I can get stabbed doing this. I'd like to ask you something this. about this wine. What is it? Well, so I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No, not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. <laughs> And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes, probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? Which wine is it you Great. want? The Sylvan Red. It's the very last keg on the right at the back. You'll recognise it easily. It's the only one that's tapped. All right. Mm, I'm going to right, sneak then. into Rate. And I'm going Good to man. steal wine for a piece head in a bathhouse. Right, let's get my gear. Um. Hmm, this isn't my gear. This is all Hans's gear. 
including St. George's Sword. And that is not the description for the St. George's Sword, that's the description for the keys. I think I'm going to part with those keys, but first, um, long sword. The long sword of St. George is the best 15th century beautifully balanced sword. 72723110, I want it. Um, that's all I need from there. Now, yep, all my gear is actually on me. So I was in the bath, still carrying all my gear. Little shoes, my new curious. A little curious, actually. Bow, the sword. Um, actually, we should take the torch because otherwise the guards, as we come in, will crack the shits about us going around at night time without a torch. I am a little curious what the next piece of armor from the tawny is going to be. What have we here? You're a bathhouse maid, you know exactly what I am. Anyways. Let us get ourselves. There you are. Come, Pebbles, let's go steal some wine for his lordship. Better bloody be it. I'm gonna be pissed off if it's not. It's the only upstairs entrance that I can find, although, why the freak you want an upstairs entrance? Unless you've got a set of stairs going straight back down again to get to a cellar. And this does seem to be the right one because we're clearing objectives. And there's people moving around in here. Oh yeah, I really need some stealth gear for this kind of shit. Well, that is the picture that we need, so that's a start now. The only one that's tapped. None of them are tapped. Alright. That's empty. Um, none of these barrels are tapped, but one of them has a use icon on it, that's all it is. That's pretty piss poor, there should be a plug or something pulled out of one of them. Hearing people moving around. And I don't remember shutting this door when I came down here. Oh, hi there. Run, 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 run. Hey, who's there? Run. Nobody, nobody's here. Absolutely nobody's here. Ignore me. Come on, Pebbles, yeah. let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course, of course I've bloody got it. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. Oh, uh, should I tell him? Nothing yeah. to it. I just used your key. My key? Why, you sly rogue, you. You're craftier than I thought. You can keep the key. They let me in there whenever I want anyway. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Get it down, you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. 
I'm getting the impression this quest isn't completely finished. No animation for drinking there. Just a food consumption sound. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Sylvan red. The taste is unmistakable. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Music and drinking. Where is this going to go? Flowers. What? <laughs> what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh, well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh. sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. <sighs> Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests. D dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, s sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. No, no, not weed and poppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm. Yeah, this is the point where again. you can but just call hands a cunt and go home and go to bed. I'll give you. Grivensy Flobbin Groshen. <laughs> that much? <laughs> All right. I'll go. Uh, what was it she said? Sage something, something else. Uh, roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. 